Hey guys, Creator Mom. I just wanted to pop on here and tell us a funny story. Well, the other day I was going to make a video about how you see movies about um, going back um, into, you know, back to the future, like going back in time, whatever, like revising stuff. And it always comes across like pretty complicated, like, you know, a genius has to make this contraption where you can go back in time. And then I thought, well, how funny would it be if we're actual, like, time machines? Eternity is in our hearts. And uh, we apparently can do revision. Um, so, anyways, I just think that there's a lot of fascinating stuff to be experienced that we kind of catch a glimpse of in movies, but we think, like, that's not real. But, like, I was just thinking, like, how crazy would it be if this is actually totally real and totally not as complicated as it's presented to us in movies like it's totally within our reach and it's actually within us so and then a, another uh, common theme is like the genie in the bottle theme like you have to, you know you can make three wishes what are they gonna be and it's just like like maybe we have you know like we have that genie within us you know what I'm saying it's living in the state of our wish fulfilled like um anyways so then last night I come across this show called being Erica and I'm like oh let me see what it's about sometimes I just watch one episode and then I can tell like if I'm gonna be into it or if I'm like oh this is boring and <laughs> The show is literally about revision. And I was like, holy shit, like, what are the chances? So I've only watched the first episode and I'm like, whoa. Well, this it's about this girl. She's 32, this woman, I should say. And she's like, has a lot of regrets and feels like a failure. She just, I can, I feel like I can relate with her like a lot because like, well, she has a little more education than I did, but she got, like, a master's degree, but for some reason she can't seem to, like, move forward in her life. Like, she works these, like, dead-end jobs, and, like, her family is just kind of like, you have so much potential, like, what are you doing, you know? And so she just kind of feels like a failure in her life, and there's many things that she did in her life that she kind of regrets. So this scene is, like, she has she gets fired from her job earlier this day and she has a date with this guy and he's like a dentist and like maybe there's some possibility there for her to actually be successful in a relationship you know with somebody who's successful so she's like gets dressed and she's like crossing the street and she's on her way to this restaurant she's supposed to meet this guy at and he calls her and he cancels on her talking about like he needs to go to the gym anyway so she figures she got dumped so she and then all of a sudden she's on the phone and she hang you know they hang up and then it starts to downpour on her like she's getting drenched so it just kind of adds to like the you know her feelings of like sadness and shit so she goes and stops into this like I guess it was a coffee shop and she sits there and she's kind of like crying a little bit and she's all wet. And then like this uh, waiter's like, oh, here, would you like to try a sample of our like mocha, whatever, whatever. Anyway, so she tries it and then she starts like having trouble breathing. And she's like, did you got, is there nuts in this? And he's like, oh yeah, there's a hazelnut, whatever. And then anyway, she passes out and she wakes up and she's in the hospital. And this guy comes into her room and uh, he's like, oh, how are you doing? Like. He's like, what happened, you know, before the time where you passed out? And anyways, he's like, he ends up telling her that he's like this, a therapist or whatever. And he tells her some things that he kind of knows about her. And she's like, who are you, you know? So he gives her his card. He's like, here, contact me if you want to really get help and make changes in your life or whatever. So she goes to see him finally and he goes, so do you really want to change your life? Do you really want to change your life? You know? And she's like, yeah. Well, he goes, okay. So she tells him like, I have a lot of regrets, you know, 
And basically, I just feel like a failure. And uh, he's like, so what are some of your regrets? And so he's, he gives her a notepad. He's like, here, write, write down what your regrets are. So anyways, I think then after that, he goes, so do you really want to change your life? And then when she finally is like, yeah, you know, whatever. And then she all of a sudden, she gets put back into like one of her very first regrets, like into that time of her life. I think she was dating this guy in high school and uh, they were at the prom and she ended up getting really drunk, ruining everything. But anyways, that was like one of her first like major regrets because everyone said she like ruined prom. Like she got so drunk. I think she really got alcohol poisoned. But um, anyways, I that's kind of where I like fell asleep. But I was like, how crazy is this that I'm watching this show about revision like he this guy it, it it's just kind of cool like obviously he's not just I know I'm excited to like kind of see it unfold and see what I could like draw from it but um yeah I just thought it was cool that she was able to she went back in time to try to revive she had to try to relive and see if she could play it out correctly um but I guess thankfully we don't have to do all that. <laughs> but it's funny because I think that she was trying to relive it out correctly. But shit still ki kind of wasn't like working out. I think one of the major issues was that this guy that she was trying to like impress or like revise the situation for was really like a dick anyways. And I have a feeling that's probably one of the lessons she's going to have to learn is that you she wasn't valuing herself. She didn't have to go back to correct behaviors for, for a guy, you know. She, I think she needed to go back to, I don't know, to love herself and see herself differently. Well, anyways, maybe I'll keep you posted.